What you are about to see is not real news. It is satire based on real news. The characters you are about to see are not real life humans. They are frighteningly realistic puppets based on real life humans. The views expressed in the show are not necessarily those of Starsat, its sponsors, its advertisers, or the nice lady that makes the coffee. What's the matter? What's bothering you? I'll handle it. I, I told you I can handle it. I'll handle it. I knew that Lindir was going to have to go through all this. And Mumpele. Mumpele was. Uh, but I. I never. I never wanted this for you. My whole life. I don't apologize to take care of my family. And I refuse to be a fool. Dancing on a string held by all those big shots. Well, you, you do like dancing. I don't apologize. I uh, know, you, you certainly don't. It's my life. But I thought, when it was your time, that you would be, that you would be the one to hold the strings. Honorable Marmani. President Marmani. Something. Another peasant event. Well, there wasn't enough time, Lucy. Just wasn't enough time. We'll get there, Helen. We'll get there. Now listen, whoever comes to you with a coalition offer, he's a traitor. Could be a she. I didn't say nothing. To another State of the Puppet Nation. This week, Malema celebrates his victory over SARS. Hey, SARS, warm, SARS warm. Bill and Hillary Clinton deny allegations of financial wrongdoing, all totally ethical and above board. And a new hero is born. All this and more. But first, this. The World Bank has confirmed that South Africans were the biggest borrowers in 2014, with 86% of us taking out loans. But only 12% of these were bank loans, with the majority borrowing from friends, family and micro-lenders. Come on, please, Malume. It will only be for a few weeks, you know. Maybe a month. A year tops. Actually, Kulu, I was hoping you could lend me some, you know. Can't we get another one of those, uh, what do you call them, security upgrades? We'll pay it back. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner graced the cover of Vanity Fair magazine, embracing her newfound identity. This was a great step forward for the acceptance of trans people in society. It's just the best thing. It really is great to see someone so bravely claim herself. Oh, totally. But I meant it's the best thing because I get to share clothes with her now. I'll twerk to that. South African laws came into effect this week demanding that everyone leaving or entering the country carry the unabridged birth certificate of their children. The measures have been broadly criticized and experts believe they will do little to stop child trafficking. Fundin, is that your child? Yeah, and here's the unabridged birth certificate. Jackass, welcome to South Africa. have vowed to take President Zuma and his cabinet to court over in Kantla. They say that in ignoring the public protector's rulings, they are in breach of the constitution. That's right, comrade. We still believe that Zuma must... We still believe that Zuma must... Aye. What's going on here? Every time I mention that Zulu boy... Devil man, devil man, 
does whatever our friend can can Nothing sticks, he never pays He can laugh in a million ways Look out, here comes Tev from there Hey, hey, hey <laughs> President Zuma! It's Teflon, man. <laughs> I thought it was time to reveal my secret identity. I don't care what fancy suit you wear, winner. You still need to pay back the money. Pay back this, pay back that. When did you ever hear of a superhero having to pay debts? Don't be ridiculous, Julius. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. I'm not the one with a frying pan on my head. You are a joke. <laughs> you are just jealous. <laughs> so now you're not even going to pretend to care. I must be off, Debra. There is a fresh allegation to attend to. Cheerio! So, yes, we are going to take that Zulu boy to court. Mm, good luck with that. Maybe you should try the League of Justice. In the Pretoria High Court this week, SARS dropped the sequestration order against EFF President Julius Malema. Granting of the order would have seen an end to Julius Malema's parliamentary service. So Julius, your position in parliament is safe. <laughs> SARS warm, SARS warm. <laughs> He's not the only one who can do it. Do you hold a grudge with SARS? I would like everyone to know that I forgive SARS. But I do not forgive the ANC for using SARS like a puppet. This is the ANC's fault. Of course, SARS was led astray. And then this week, they saw the light. Awfully quickly. And unexpectedly. A miracle. Amen. Hey, SARS warm, SARS warm. Hey, SARS warm. Sports Minister Figile Mbalula has spoken out about the allegations that South Africa bribed FIFA to win the 2010 World Cup bid. Even though he had nothing to do with the organizing of the 2010 World Cup, he has plenty to say about the allegations. He is the sports minister. Yes, but the allegations were against the organizing committee, which he wasn't actually on. The media is casting aspersions against my esteemed colleagues, which must discontinue. Danny Jordan has admitted to paying the money. Of course, because that detail is punctilious. We admit money exchange hands, but it was categorically and unequivocally not a bribe. So why did the organizing committee, which you weren't on, pay 120 million rands to Jack Warner, a FIFA official from Trinidad? Because we must strive to contribute our utmost to the magnificent furtherance of talent from Trinidad and the diaspora. Talent from the diaspora? You know, Rihanna, Shakira, there's a world of talent out there. Yeah, South Africa must not be greedy. We must help develop it all. This time for Africa. Waka waka eh eh zamina mina. Public protector Tulima Donsela is sorry she wasn't harder on the president in her report. She believes police minister Nkleko's findings were biased and irrelevant and that some money still has to be paid back, which the president himself had previously admitted. Say those things. He did. Pay for them, Zuma must. Ooh, Teflon Man! <laughs> you are powerless over Teflon Man! So, President Zuma. Teflon Man! So, Teflon Man, is there anything you plan on taking accountability for that has happened during your presidency? Maricona? Never! I shall simply use my superpower. <laughs> the NPA, ESCOM, the crime rate. <laughs> so that's your superpower? Laughing? <laughs> Debra, it's deadly. <laughs> <laughs> Find his kryptonite. One day I will. <laughs> Welcome to the Logic Factor with me, Justice Malala, where I ask you to think straight, like the shortest distance between two points. Last week I asked you whether you thought Clive Darby Lewis should be granted medical parole, which in fact he was granted during the week. And the majority of you said, see, si, if Shabir Sheikh can have medical parole, then Darby Lewis should get it too. <sighs> it's like you don't use your brains, not even. 
Sabir Sheikh has no bearing on this situation. How do you compare the crimes? What does something wrong having happened in the past have anything to do with now? Logic, people! Logic for fuck's sakes! <sighs> this week, I want to know what you think about the additional visa requirements when traveling with children. Do you think, A, who really cares? If I can afford to travel, I will. B, if they actually ran home affairs properly, there'd be no need. C, it's going to destroy the tourism industry. We're doomed. Or D, don't have kids, so I don't care. So, there you have it. A, B, C, or D. You can vote on our website or Facebook. Share your logic with us and I'll be back next week to tell you how logical or illogical your answers were. Do you wish you could tell everyone where to shove it? Misogyny. Hey, do you wish you could pick up chicks as easily as I pick up the ball? Misogyny. Do you wish that you could always be the boss? Misogyny. Misogyny caught me where I am today. Misogyny for men. Misogyny is endorsed by the ANC Women's League. Terms and conditions apply. And now? Now what? This headgear? It's cold, Debra. Particularly for us, you know, follically challenged. I, I don't really feel the cold. Mm, why am I not surprised? No, seriously, though, you're going to have to take that thing off to do the news, okay? No one's going to take you seriously like that. Fine. I will have to suffer for my art. Gauteng motorists have been given a small break in the Etolls saga. Reduced fees and a discount on all outstanding fees, as well as a flat rate for all motorists with or without e-tags, are the highlights of the new deal negotiated by Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa. Uh, yes, I'm here. Uh, thank you for waiting and uh, thank you for my medal. What medal? We had questions about the new Etolls system. Exactly. And I appreciate the honor of getting a medal uh, for my heroic efforts in solving the Etoll crisis. You're not getting a medal. There is no medal. Motorists are still angry, despite the price cut. No one is angry. Everyone is delighted by my hard work and amazing problem-solving ability. My medal says... For Pete's sake, no one is giving you a medal. A trophy will be fine then. And uh, I would like to take this opportunity to put a stop to rumors that uh, I will be solving the load sharing crisis. I think world peace needs uh, my attention first. Now, where is my medal? Uh. <sighs> you know, maybe we should just give him a naughty badge or, you know, a cupcake or something. Archbishop Emeritus Desmond Tutu launched a scathing attack on government, accusing them of humiliating South Africa. Tutu warned that Police Minister Ndleko, clearing the president of all liability, didn't bode well for the future. It is indeed humiliating, Justice. You said that this behavior gave new meaning to the word lickspittle. Yes, my child, uh, to deny my BFF, the Dalai Lama, a visa, that was cowardly lickspittle behavior. But this is the very height of leakspittleness, you know. These people will do anything to please uh, President Zuma. Uh oh, he said Zuma. Ooh, Teflon Man. <laughs> you! Aren't you ashamed of what the world must be thinking? Oh, no. <laughs> this is not what we fought for. Where is your conscience? Teflon man has no conscience, but I do have a stylish breastplate. Oh, dear God, this is even worse than I feared. Helen Zilla made sure she made headlines for helping some lost German tourists. She... Let me stop you right there, Justice. I didn't help them. No, I saved them. Goodness, did you manage to rescue them from a kidnapping? Oh, no, but a hijacking? No, not exactly, but... You threw yourself in front of a bullet for them? No, I spoke to them in German, and then I sent my driver to help them. Definitely friendly of you. Hmm? Heroic! 
uh, polite. Now that I have a little more time on my hands, I'm thinking of starting up a service. Uber Premier, where I single-handedly am nice to tourists from all over the world, not just Germany. Um, but wouldn't it be your job as Premier to be nice to anyone visiting the Western Cape? I have a friend coming to Cape Town this weekend. Can we borrow your car? Ooh, now that your organic market has moved, maybe we could just have our pry at Leuenhof this weekend. No, of course, I, I couldn't offer all of that to every single person who asked. I'd never get anything done. Maybe we should ask her in German. Uh, sprechen Sie Deutsch? Nein. Hast du einen Freund? Uh, mein Deutsch ist nicht gut, aber ich versuche zu verbessern. Uh, ich bin ein Eichhörnchen, das Nusse ist, aber das ist sehr verrückt. With the Encantler scandal and the FIFA scandal dominating headlines this week, the DA has had a lot to disapprove of. And they have, I'm guessing. Have they? Surely they must have. Yes, for sure. We absolutely disapprove of all those bad things. Hmm. Note to self, be more disapproving. Uh, what bad things? You know what you said. Name one. Nkandla. Ooh, Stefan man. <laughs> he didn't even say your name. <laughs> no, <laughs> he said Nkandla. Ooh, Nkandla. Mr. President, it is your duty to do better to serve the people of this country like a true statesman. Ooh. Mr. President, I want to be a true statesman. That's actually pretty uncanny. He is nothing like me. He is nothing like me. <laughs> okay, enjoy the rest of the news. I'm off to do whatever the f I want because I can. That, I definitely disapprove of that. That, I definitely disapprove of that. <laughs> Welcome to Hard Shout, the number one non-soft, non-quiet, non-gentle interview show on TV. Today we're talking to Democratic presidential hopeful Hillary Clinton. Thank you, Deborah. So great to be around other strong women. Speaking as a strong woman, doesn't it bother you that so many people still think you're famous as the woman who forgave her husband's infidelity? Just proof of how strong I am. Will you always be known as Bill Clinton's wife? Only by narrow-minded people. Was the reason you stayed with him purely political? Was that the moment you realized you could use this for all your own political gain? We've both always been politicians. My decision was based on what was best for our marriage and therefore best for your political future. What do you stand for that sets you apart from other Democrat candidates? We've had our first black president. Isn't it time we had a woman? That's not a political stance. Are you saying gender inequality isn't political? Of course it is, but you can't just become president because you are a woman. Lots of people are women. Why you? Why are you the woman? Why are you the great president? Show me! Stop riding on popularity and press and show us some damn policies. You need a lot more substance, Hillary, and all you seem to have is scandals. Low-level nonsense that my opponents use to discredit me. Abuse of government resources, low-level nonsense. It's not like I screwed around with my intern. So there you have it, Hillary Clinton. She's the Clinton who didn't screw her intern. Yet. Do you have a product that needs selling? Maybe cement. Cement. It's so strong and gray. Or milk. Hey, milk. It is so white and tasty. Or even a new car. A new car. It is so shiny and new. Whatever your product, black men singing can market it for you. Black men singing can make anything seem authentic. Genetically modified foods, so natural and healthy. Black men singing instantly connects you to a black demographic. My bread is not only for the white people. So hire black men singing today and turn your product into an instant success. Black men singing. We are cliche, but we are awesome. Um, hey guys, do you think you could... DA is not just for the white people.
That was actually quite catchy. Do you think if I asked you things in song, you'd be more inclined to listen to me? No. No? Not unless you can do three-part harmony by yourself. Um, hmm. I thought not, underachiever. And now for the news making headlines around the world. The United States Department of Justice has unsealed indictments against high-ranking FIFA officials. Accusations of bribery, corruption, money laundering and racketeering have been put forward and the United States Revenue Service says this is not all. More charges will be following shortly. Several of the accused members of the FIFA committee were arrested in Switzerland last week. Hello, Deborah. Justice. Bribery and corruption. That's bad. The IRS, that's good. The IRS doesn't do bribery and corruption. We do deals, not corruption. Nuh-uh. And it's the US's job to make arrests in Switzerland? We can arrest you anywhere on Earth. Literally anywhere. I could arrest you right now if I wanted to, brother. I don't want to, though. You're cool. Some have said that the timing of these indictments right after the US lost their bid to host the 2022 FIFA World Cup to Qatar is a little suspect. Now, now, the US didn't lose anything, especially not to Qatar. We love Qatar and their natural resources. Hey there, Sheik Tamim. Love your work. In fact, we've never lost anything. Not a war, not a World Series. Yeah, but you play those by yourselves. So we don't lose. What we do do is take out the bad guys all over the world. We know you're grateful, so you can thank us on Twitter. Hashtag thanks, Michelle. Hashtag IRS rocks. Hashtag hell yeah, USA. You're welcome. In wonderful news for the West family, it was revealed that Kim Kardashian and Kanye West are expecting another baby. How is that wonderful news? Well, it's what you normally say when people are having a baby. Well, if that's what normal people say when they have a baby, I shudder to think what these two are going to say. The creator is here. With Mrs. Creator. Because that's what we are, creators. We've totally created a whole other human. An Earth, like the God I am. And a new creator twerk. It's for us creators only. Don't try it at home. It looks just like the old trick. What are you going to call this one? West West? Oh, we've given it a lot of, like, thought. And we're probably going with South. Southwest? Like like the Cape Doctor? That's the Southeaster, Justice. But they can be a doctor if they want. Like the child of God. That's why this is called the Southwest Twerk. Thank me later. Still in the U.S., former President Bill Clinton has sent out a plea to all donors to the Clinton Foundation. An explosive book called Clinton Cash, to be published later this month, includes accusations of financial irregularity and buying favors. The Clintons were quick to reassure their donors that these were false accusations from an angry opposition. Politics is a dirty game, Deborah. A dirty game. And that book is full of bald-faced lies. All monies we received were through legal and totally ethical means. So where does your money come from? Hard work, Justice. No money magically appears here. We both work really hard. It's your turn, Hillary. Uh, my arm is getting tired. Oh, come on. I'm doing an interview. This money machine, oops, I mean this publicity machine, doesn't work by itself, Hillary. Like we said, completely ethical legal means and very hard work. So, there you have it, folks. A week in which our politicians think that they are pretty awesome. This has been the 83rd State of the Puppet Nation. Bye. Bye. They do seem pretty full of themselves this week, don't they? Mm, but I guess it's a job where you need an oversized ego, you know? Ooh, I thought that might summon you-know-who. He who must not be named. Shh.